Jackson's Inlet is a picnic area next to the Clutha River that allows certified self-contained vehicles to stay for just one night. It's located on State Highway 8, about 11 kilometres out of Cromwell. Like the Lowburn Harbour Freedom Camp, this park is managed by Land Information New Zealand, so it's funded by New Zealand taxpayers rather than the local council ratepayers. It's a beautiful location for a one-night stay. I stayed in mid-December, which is early summer in New Zealand, and I was the only person staying there, so I had the whole park to myself for the night. There are no toilets at this location, which meant the only people who stopped here for lunch were those in self-contained vehicles who had their own toilet. There was one motorhome and two vans when I arrived at midday, but everyone left after lunch, so I was alone for the rest of the afternoon and night. Note that the sign states there is a toilet, but this sign is completely wrong. The location on the map where it claims there is a toilet is actually an electrical station with high voltage written on it. Aside from the lack of toilets, there are no picnic tables here either, which is another reason very few motorists stop here for lunch. If you have a certified self-contained vehicle and you like privacy, you'll probably like this freedom camp as it doesn't attract many people. As with most freedom camps, you'll need to bring your own fresh water as there is no water tap provided. The only amenity provided here is one small rubbish bin. The rubbish bin was emptied at about 8am the next morning, so I think they empty it every morning, which is great. Next to the electrical station is a small creek that leads to the lake. If you choose to park next to this small creek, be aware that there will be sandflies hanging around the little creek. The sandflies bit my ankles when I walked past in the afternoon. There was an adorable paradise shell duck family living in this park. Paradise shell ducks are native to New Zealand and they are the only shell duck in New Zealand. A shell duck is a duck that looks like a goose. They mate for life and the female has a white face while the male has a dark face. The four babies are almost as big as the parents so they'll go off on their own soon. Look out for duck poo on the grass when you're walking around. The road noise wasn't too bad here as the road is up high so the noise travels over the park. The noise didn't bother me but I still recommend earplugs to get a good sleep. Up in the hills there are wild goats. You can hear the goats bleating and it sounds a lot like a child crying in the distance. The only thing I didn't like about this park is the poorly maintained driveway with a massive pothole where the sealed road meets the gravel road. It's impossible to drive around it because it's right across the road. Also be careful driving out of here because this driveway is sloped and it makes it a bit difficult to see traffic on State Highway 8 particularly with all the shrubbery around on the right. Take it slow and check each way a few times before pulling out. Please be aware the tower signal is weak out here. My phone reception was a bit weak and my wireless internet speed was quite slow. I was still able to watch YouTube videos, but they were slow to load. I was surprised because my wireless internet speed at the nearby Lowburn Harbour Freedom Camp was very fast. It seems these hills around the Clutha River are blocking the tower signal. As the sign says, you must have a certified self-contained vehicle. They do inspections here regularly throughout summer, so don't risk staying here if you don't have the sticker or you will get fined. Because you're required to be certified self-contained here, Grey water from your shower and dishes must be taken away with you and can't be tipped on the trees. The nearest dump station is the Cromwell Dump Station on Richards Beach Road. I've circled the dump station in orange. Alternatively, you can visit the Alexandra Dump Station, which is in the other direction and it's roughly 23 kilometers from this park if you're heading in that direction. Overall, it's a great place to stay the night with pretty scenery. If it wasn't for the one night maximum stay, I would happily stay two nights.
It's much more peaceful than other freedom camps because it doesn't provide toilets or picnic tables so not many people come here. Happy travels! Bye!